let's dive into what makes our projects unique, how we can choose what's visible in a project, and how our project navigation is customizable. When we create new fields, Shotgun will present us with a couple of options. Apply to all active projects or apply to only the current project. The default setting is to apply to all projects, but it's important to pause at this step and think things through. Under the hood, all fields are available to all projects. This step is just a decision in making them visible. It can be a cumbersome task in the future to have to either A, later make the field visible in all projects, or B, later make the field not visible in multiple projects. So, best to pause here and make that decision carefully before proceeding. To control entity, field, pipeline step, and status visibility, we head to our project's tracking settings. On the left, we see a list of entities, including custom entities we've enabled on our site. These are organized by the project's visible entities, global entities, which can include non-project custom entities, system entities, which cannot be hidden, and any hidden entities from this project. We can hide an entity from our project by selecting the subtraction icon upon hovering. When we select an entity like assets, we'll see its properties first, showing us the entity name, hierarchy, and default task templates used when creating a record on the entity. The hierarchy can be set by how entities are linked together by entity type fields in our project, along with some specialized entity specific options like the asset type. Fields are where we can see the fields that are visible on an entity like asset in this project. Steps are where we can hide or make visible pipeline steps in a project. We also have the ability to reorder these. Note that visibility is per project, while the order is universal, affecting all projects. Hiding a step will not remove the step from any tasks where it's being used, as those will need to be manually changed. Statuses are where we hide or make visible statuses used in this project. Similar to steps, while visibility is per project, the order is universal, affecting all projects. Also like steps, Hiding a status will not remove the status from any records where it is being used. That will also need to be done manually. Now that we're pros on tracking settings, let's create an episodic project. Remove sequences from the project since we want to link shots directly to episodes and adjust our hierarchy after we make the connection. So now let's create an entity type field on shots that links to episodes. So we name it episode and select the episode entity type. We'll only make this field visible in this project since it's a unique hierarchy on our site, meaning most projects are VFX film, not episodic. Now that we've made that connection, let's check out our shot properties. Let's select the hierarchy episode shot. We can also hide the spot entity to clean things up further, since spots won't be relevant in this project. And voila! We've adjusted our episodic schema just like that, and we're ready to roll. Now check out from a detail page how we can use the navigation tool to get to other records without leaving the detail pages. Lastly, project navigation bars can be unique per project. We'll want to keep the list concise, similar to how it is straight from the template only promoting important pages that everyone frequently visits, and we can access all other pages via the Pages dropdown. We've created a new dashboard page that we'd like to promote as the first page everyone sees upon visiting the project. Once on the page, we select the Page Settings dropdown and add to navigation. We'll place this page first in line, then save. 